Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough, then also you can search for yourself, but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always, keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. A blast from the past in a good way. A clip of Renzotto telling the Disvandi fans not to send any hate to messages to, to Zion after termination said the same thing with Selene's termination if I'm not mistaken um, yeah so. there have been there have been uh, a few changes uh there have been bring up one thing uh just because because I I know that uh I know that uh, everybody's uh, seen on thing at first um but I feel like I I do have one thing that I would like to say about it just just real quick uh and then we can get back to just the stream as usual um I just want to say that um I'm sad with how things worked out I know that we all are um I feel like the situation is already stressful enough though and I understand that a lot of viewers feelings are hurt um but i just want to say that i don't think sending hateful messages to anyone is ever okay to do so i want to ask people to please don't do that i don't believe that it's a good way to support anyone in niji sanji or anyone in general i don't think that sending mean comments is is ever uh, a nice thing to do and that is where i'm going to end this part of the watching his what he said he seems like a good guy overall he seems like one of the good ones in Nidhi Sanji every single person has a bit of controversy that they've gone through we're humans we make mistakes and the Zion thing was a very very messy termination uh where they did bullet points to try to uh ruin the character ruin the person behind the character that type of thing it was really messed up I didn't like it a lot of people didn't like it we watched uh we read her story the one that the google doc that she created to kind of make sure with receipts Make sure everything was shown. Uh, the only thing I have against him is that he was one of the, what, three that had a quote routine in the black stream. But compared to one guy, I fully stand behind this, despite anyone, uh, speakers in the water bottle knew whose video's context. Ren was like, hey, here's this. Then reassurance that he wasn't skin walked. And honestly, the black stream stream retweets should only be held as a mark against the three in it. Exactly. A lot of times you're forced to do these things when you're in an agency. The retweets are probably agencies telling, retweet this, go ahead, do it. And then, you know, you're part of the thing. So you're like, ah, whatever. Let's just do it. So there's that. Uh, only three people didn't retweet the Black Stream stream. Even Vivi had a tweet telling people to watch it. Yeah, a lot of people did. The uh, fact that a liver has to tell Nidhi fans not to harass is really telling of those fans. Because they know their fans. They know a lot of people are parasocial in there. They know a lot of people are part of what I like to call Niji cultists. Which is basically they take Niji Sanji as a cult that can do no wrong. And they also make it so that they can. This is my opinion, of course. Uh... Since they can do no wrong, anybody who does anything against them is in the wrong. Anybody who does anything against them is the one making the mistakes. So because of that, you have these such things. People, you know, going against Doki Bird, calling her names and things like that. Going against Zion, calling her names, things like that. And still against her to this day. Still against who she is now, which is Sayu. She's Sayu Synchronicity. She's doing amazing work. And people are still against her. People are still not wanting to talk to her. People are still, it's starting to go away. But people are still being aggressive towards her. And it's still not right. As we all know, as of the 30th, Ame will not be recording any more streams or any more content under the Hololive name in the sense of she is taking an indefinite hiatus. As far as we can tell, again, I am repeating it because every time this comes up, people are like, oh, it's a graduation, it's a graduation. It's not. It's not even a graduation in name. It is something new. It seems like in the VTuber space, when it comes to corporate VTuber space, other VTubers take hiatuses and they maybe they go back to their PLs and maybe they go back to the IRLs, forms or whatever. They take hiatus from their VTuber forms, the indies, etc. But no large VTubers, no large corporate VTubers have done this yet. As we know, she's not going to be staff either. So this is just a hiatus from her streaming activities. Why am I doing this? Because small Ames creator, the person who created small Ame, is the one right now talking about the situation and how they felt when they heard about it. And this is them reminiscing over the creation of certain things that they were f helped with and they were allowed to do under Hololife. And then I remember when she did her uh, Thanksgiving stream. Remember that one? The first Thanksgiving stream that she did? And I was invited, not as a guest, but like as an artist to, to draw the thing. I was like the first person to ever officially be, I don't know, I don't know what the word is. You know what I mean? <laughs> Con literally contacted me the day of the stream. She was like, I'm setting something up. Would you like, can I just use some of your animations? I'm going to put them on, uh, like, do you remember? It was like the Watson Parade. Right? Yeah, it was the Watson Parade. I was going to put it on the Watson Parade. Like, no, let me, like, draw something for this. And I drew something during that day. I, they we're just going to reminisce about good memories now. 
I remember very specifically, she was streaming uh, Mario Kart with uh, with members, and I was like, no, she's she's playing Mario Kart with members, and I can't join because I'm like drawing something for this thing. Uh, but then I, you know, and then I drew the thing, and then I saw it on the stream, and I was like, holy frick! Everyone was like, whoa, what the? Whoa, that's cool. Well, that's 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 the guy. That's the guy. It was before small army was even like a term, you know? Yeah. What a time. And then you know the classic other things that I've drawn. We got small Ame, we got B Ame. Remember that? Remember when B Ame was just like an animation that I did because she played Super Mario Galaxy and there was like the B costume and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna draw Ame as like a B. And yeah. then B Ame like an official thing. That was cool. A lot of good times. And that is the, the part that I wanted to put out there. A lot of people, artists and everything included, have had very good times with Ame. And everyone who knows about Hollow Life EN and knows about Myth has also had wonderful times with Ame, you know, with the ground pound and her gremlin noises and everything that she's done. The whole projects that she's done in VR chat, the projects that she's done helping Kiara have a 3D studio in her home, things like that. She's done a lot of things. She's going to be missed dearly. And this is why I keep making this content when it comes to Ame and things like that. Just reminiscing about the wonderful things and the wonderful creator and the inspirational person that Ame was. Even though you know, she had her gremlin stuff, but she was trying to be inspirational behind that. So just giving you a reminder of that. U2s is making Internet's favorite detective and shark girl make the U2's debut on September 29th. So as of September 29th at 3 p.m. ES Eastern Standard Time, you can go to U2s and you can buy it by Gargura and by Amelia Watson. Seeing as though Amelia Watson is graduating on the 30th, not fully graduate. My mistake. My bad. It's not a graduation. It is an indefinite hiatus where they are just quitting VTuber activities. So it's not a graduation. She's not leaving Hollow Life. She's just doing her own thing for a bit. She's still affiliated with Hololive. Amelia Watson isn't going anywhere. Amelia Watson is still going to be affiliated with it. Unlike, you know, Aqua and others who have been either terminated or graduated. But it is a nice send off for their VTuber activities to be able to have this. And of course, whenever I get these type of models, I never, ever, ever take them out of their thing. Because it's kind of like it's a collector's item. I'm about to sob, bro. I'm a Sami forever. My soul is sobbing. Is, is sobbing. I'm a Sami. I'm a Amelia. Yes, everyone's like, oh my God. And these are the reason why Amelia so has gotten so big she's she was one of the reasons why they did the VR chat stuff and they had these concerts happening and they had all these things popping off here Amelia Watson was the one who kind of from what I understand was the one who brought the idea of doing something in VR chat and doing the myth Halloween thing and doing all the other things that are now part of VTuber history doing all of this stuff for them and helping them get their their VR models done getting for example Kiata getting her 3d done I mention this every time I mention Amelia because I want you guys to know all the positive things that she's done and I'm glad she has a U2s in updates on the U2s situation as you know before I had talked about Watson and Gura having a U2s come out for them of course uh with the, their mascots as well there they're all there posable it looks like like you can see posable and uh they have their face plates look very very cute and u2s is going to be given away or has given away at this point in time 10 sets of u2s for free before the release on the 29th uh enter to win and retweet this and post or comment Amesame. Winners will be announced tomorrow when pre-orders open, or at least the 29th when pre-orders open. As of this, it was, you know, when it was happening. And of course, uh, for those who are still on September 28th, then you guys can go and take a look at this and, um, you know, make sure that you get it going, that you get things going. And that was a short little update on this whole situation. And hopefully you guys can win. We move on to Mori Calliope, who was recently doing along with, uh, of course, you see Fauna, you see Gigi, you see Bibu doing some tabletop RPG gun the session. Adventures await in the West for these three hat wearing gun wielding outlaws. And here you have it. She had TT RPG with the Myth Girls in the past, and now she has it with all the people there that you mentioned. So you got an announcement at the end of tomorrow's TT RPG session. Hope you'll tune in. It's pretty big. Here we have the announcement put out here. And here we have the place where I think is where they started. Let me get it for you. The coincidences as well. Well, is there anything that you guys would like to announce? Oh my lord. The big hat. Is there I'd like to announce this big hat. Oh man. <laughs> that is a large hat. We had disturbance in the in this room. Yeah, I, I sense a disturbance in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I sense a disturbance. That's a large hat. Anything you guys wanna any streams you guys are doing soon that you maybe wanna let the good folks at home know about? Well it's been announced, um it's been announced on uh, X, Twitter. Twitter! It's Twitter, sorry. 
We're getting out something <laughs> already. But I am performing. I have a live show that I am going to be present at in October. It's in Japan. Ooh, actually, but yeah, it's, yeah. Really, it's very small. I didn't really prepare this, but sorry, I'm a bit of a dummy. Uh, so yay, I am the opening act uh, for the Coke Studio Live 2024 uh, on October 19th and 20th at the Saitama Super Arena. So I hope that those of you in Japan will come see it. While there aren't necessarily any streaming, any streaming plans right now, uh, I still think there may be a possibility you'll get to see some of the show. But it's a very big deal for me. I hope that you guys will cheer. It is a huge deal because this Coke Studio thing that she's mentioning here uh, is big. It's Coca-Cola. It's freaking Coca-Cola. As we know, it's it's, it's a huge monopoly everywhere. Uh, be performing Coke Studio live tour at Saitama Super Arena on October 19th and 20th. She's going to be the opening act. Honored to share the stage with new jeans. Also, Creepy Nuts again. They're going to be doing Creepy Nuts again. Holy shit. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. I'm sorry. I got a little bit excited there. But yes, here's a Coke Studio live tour. And it is uh, Saitama Studio again, like I mentioned huge it is huge let's look at the lineup lineup is new jeans creepy nuts uh rita ora rao alejandro omoina omoina otake uh, team nexus and of course more Calliope. opening act the 19th and the 20th so not any small bit of people big big people and i'm sure Hollow Life, along with Universal Music Japan, because he's part of Uni Universal Music Japan had a big part in this but also if K mori kali whatever you want to call her, dad, just don't call her mommy, uh, wanted to not work so hard. If she didn't work as hard as she did, she didn't put in all the effort that she did, this would have never happened. So big congratulations to Mori. Big congratulations for this huge project coming out there. It is huge to be an opening act for people like this, for Coca-Cola, number one, for their, their Coke studio, and number two, for big names, because these are big names. So it is a huge thing for her to have that. Very glad, very happy to see her do this. And of course, if you're there in Japan, go ahead and see it and watch it and everything. Just wanted to give you guys a little heads up on this whole thing. YouTube Japan is having their Fan Fest Japan 2024. Additional performer information. New appearances have been confirmed. Pro Noir is going to be there, which is, you know, Nidhi Sanji based, which is fine. I'm, I'm happy that Pro Noir is actually getting some uh, some appearances, at least somewhere. And we are having Hoshimachi Suisei. Hoshimachi Suisei there of Hololive. And here we go with uh, YouTubeFanFest.com. Of course, I'm translating it because it was all in Japanese. It's all from Fan Fest Japan. So here marks the 11th time YouTube has held this event, YouTube Fan Fest Japan 2024. Event will be held at Makuhari Event Hall from 6 p.m. on Wednesday. December 11th. This event will also be live streamed on the official YouTube Japan channel. This year's most talked about creators and artists on YouTube gathered together. Sage will feature a look back at trends for 2024 and live performances. Uh, and it's hashtag YTFF if you're on, on the Bird app. Uh, for the latest information on performers and other events, check out YouTube official Twitter. I'm never going to fucking call it X. Screw, screw, screw uh, uh, Elon Musk. I, I'm never going to call it X. Uh, the event outlined December 11th, Wednesday. Scheduled start time 1800. Doors open 1600. Makuhari Event Hall 2-1 Nakase Mihama Ku Chiba, Chiba City. YouTube's organizer, KDDI Corporation is a sponsor. Uh, Google Pixels Corporation and Novell Media is the production company of it. They're having alphabetical order. Core Noir, com dot dots. First take. The first take is going to be there. Suisi was a part of the first take. Seikin, first bust. Hikakin, Fishers. Heisei Flamingo, Star Town Suisse, and other performers that may be added or removed at a different time. Of course, things can are, are always, you know, added or removed. Crazy Magnet is the MC creators, and Shohei Shibata and Chigusa are the MCs. Tickets, um, you can uh, get general ticket reception, Crazy Magnet dedicated reception, Crow Noir dedicated reception, and Hochimachi Suisse special reception are going to be happening too. Just wanted to give you guys a full rundown of everything that FanFest is. Because a lot of you guys, it's going to be the first time you guys hearing about this. YouTube does uh, things like that, just like Twitch does. This is for Japan specific though. But, you know, some guys might want to know because, of course, Core Noir is there. Some people that follow me still are Nidhi Sanji fans. And um, and that's fine. And some people are Suisse fans. And that's perfectly fine as well. And that's why I like giving you guys these little updates here. And, there. and of course, for everybody's going to go. Everybody's going to watch it. Because I think you might be streaming it. Whichever way you, go, you do it, have fun and enjoy. We have right here with you. Hololive Autumn Fest sales start. New series of Hololive seasonal days has been released, capturing seasonal themes with various other themes. This time, the theme is Autumn Festival Oktoberfest. Four Hololive talents are in the lineup. Let's see if I can if I can name them all. On the left, you have Mo Momo Suzunene. Then you have Aki Rosenthal, Shiragane Noel, I believe, and then Koyori is the last one. They're all there. Awesome. And of course, they have at the shop at Hololive Pro. Apologies and corrections regarding the post below. There was an error in the sales URL. Here is the official correct URL is as follows. So they fixed it. Fixed it. Is it the same URL for me? 
I think it is. This is Hollow Live Autumn Mark Autumn Fest. It is acrylic stands, as you can see here. It's, it's there. Everything here is their acrylic stands. You have there. You have their signed, um, signed stuff here, signed coasters. Uh, yes, they're all coasters here. Then after that, you have your huge beer mug. So that's probably gonna be something that's gonna oof. Hopefully it's plastic. If it's if it's glass, it's gonna be hard to ship. $43. So hopefully it's glass, actually. If it's 43 bucks, it better be glass. Then bottle opener keychains, 12 bucks each. And random name batch is uh two, two of them. Random name batch, $5.99. If you just get a random one, if you get the eight pack, which gets all of them, then um you only you have to pay 46 bucks which is not actually that bad uh thinking about it you're saving maybe like two or three bucks by buying all eight if you want to buy all of them but of course there are some people that are just like want to be the Momo Suzunene. there's some people who just like aki rosenthal but it's random so i'd rather get the eight the eight pack i'd rather get the eight pack to get to make sure i get my 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 actual one instead of getting one and then you know it is whoever it is but i do like that they continue making these wonderful things for their creators i do like that i absolutely do we have kaheru which is a virtual trash dweller. She's gotten pretty big, Kahiru Orange. She was a part of a group and um, of friends and things like that and was able to do a lot of content. As you can see here, she even had a small version of herself and uh, an important announcement from Kahiru Channel. Thank you for our support these past six years. It has been an unforgettable experience and I had so much fun spending time with each and every one of you. I have been working on a lot of wonderful pe projects, spanning covers, voice acting work, streaming games, and I'm thankful for everyone. I've been giving many wonderful opportunities to collaborate with numerous wonderful content creators, and I'll be forever thankful for all the experiences given to me being in the PHVT community. The Filipino, I'm guessing, is what that is. I am not the most active VTuber out there, but I appreciate every single comment and support you have given me. I'd like to announce that I'll be act I will be even more active starting September 28th. I'll be streaming next week, and posting stream schedule on Sunday. I'm releasing merch on Cosplay Mania and sales will last until October 6th. Thank you for walking with me this wonderful journey. So instead of it being a sad thing of graduation, as a lot of these things happen, these important announcements, they're saying, hey, I'm going to be putting more effort into this. So this is actually good news for their community. Once again, thank you for your continued support. Sana, I'm not going to read that because I can't read. I'm, I'm not going to. I am not going to butcher that language. All right, so you can read that later, there. Uh, it says I have something to say, which scared a lot of people, of course. Girl, you nearly gave me a heart attack, but glad you have you back. Thank you. Apologize when it happened again. Happy to have you back. Let's go. Bro, please, I almost died. Uh, Yeah, basically, people are like, that white background thing. That's like, ah, that white background, black text. It's it's scary. It's scary for most people. But luckily, it's a positive thing for the community. A big milestone for anybody to reach of any size, whether you are from an agency or from an independent VTuber standpoint. It is a huge milestone to ever reach the 1 million uh, subscriber mark. Here we are, though, with Kawasuki Sui, who is a Japanese VTuber, has reached past 1 million uh, subscriber milestone. Let's see what people have to say. Question is how, looking at her numbers, it makes no sense at all. There's not even anything viral in her shorts. VTuber's channel subscriber count has been increasing unusually for a short period of time. Suspected that they frequently purchase channel subscribers. Natural for a number of subscribers to increase when something is talked about, but it has never been talked about at all. In a sense, it is natural that the number of channel subscribers does not correspond to the number of viewers, but this VTuber rarely exceeds three digits. The biggest question is why the Japanese VTuber community is not talking about this, uh, hit them, their uh, stuff, but some think it might be Babi Niku, since it sounds like she uses a voice changer, you just listen to her voice activities at all. Uh, when this VTuber is talked about, it's usually about the extraordinary increase in the number of subscribers to their channel, and have not uh, been uh, corresponding with the amount of viewers that they have on the channel. Seems to be very popular if you only look at the number of subscribers, but completely unknown, an alien entity in the VTuber community. I too am curious. They basically gain almost 800k subs in about six months. As you said, their videos and shorts don't have anything that would explain the huge growth, and they're averaging around 300 to 500 live streams. So here we go. That is people, of course, putting things out there. And it is up to you to decide. I'm not going to say anything specifically. You have these numbers here that show an increased growth as of 226, 2024. I'm glad that they are growing overall. You can see here in the lives. Yes, they have 3.6K views, but that is not weird for someone to have like a small percentage of what uh, happens on average. From what I see, it's usually about like, unless you're a big, big, super, super duper popular one and haven't been growing like for ages and ages and gotten to that 1 million mark, uh, it seems to be that it would um, be about 1% around 1% of what you have as the full thing, from what I have seen at least. Uh, in videos as well, you have 21K views. You still have good views. I mean, some of them are 3.2K views, but you know, it, it will depend. If you have uh, popularity based on a specific genre that you did or a specific thing that you did, 
you are of course going to have way less people viewing your other stuff. But this is what people are saying. Usually 1 million subscribers will have, you know, sometimes 10% or more at the very least of their viewers watching their stuff. And it seems like they have an extraordinarily low amount of viewers watching their stuff. I can't say one way or the other because we don't know uh, what's actually going on. We don't know if it's just for whatever reason, uh, there was a push to get more subscribers and uh, they got that push done. But most of the people weren't interested in the stuff, you know, they subscribed for the sake of getting them to that point. It could be. And they just don't care about the content, which is unfortunate. Uh, it There's there's many, many, many ways beyond the, you know, the bad side. So I'm just giving you guys all sides of the argument and letting you know uh, that uh, I hold no specific judgment because I don't know the, the whole story. Welcome back to the VTuber Showcase where I like to give back to the VTuber community, send some positivity, show the love, spread the love, and make this community a much better place than where I left it. So that is what I'm trying to do here. Uh, no matter what body type, no matter what you are, I will try to showcase you if I find you and I see you. Because right now, we are over 150, over 160 VTubers that I've shown, and I'm going to continue doing this and as much as I can and as many as I find because there are thousands out there. I won't be able to see you all, but I'll do as many as I can. So today we have Kimi Kimura, the awkward spoiled dancing pup, the dancing dog VTuber, who of course down here is doing updates, a recent update on what they've done, September 22nd. Kimi is okay. I've been looking for jobs to start saving up for my new stream setup. Hasn't been easy looking, but I'm trying my best. In the meantime, I've been posting on my Twitter and TikTok accounts gonna put everywhere you can find me in a thread thank you all so much for your support so they're doing you know they're trying to get a new stream set up try and do what they can to continue making content and make it good for each and every one of you in their about section of course we have them saying this doggo plans on dominating the world about me awkward spoiled dancing doggo that's ready to dominate the world i need a pc gaming so bear with my low skill set with them I'm obsessed with K-pop, J-pop, VLs. Please talk to me about it. I stream randomly around 9, 8, 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't ask about my sleep schedules. It's totally normal. So yeah, um, it is, they are no, new to gaming. I'm not new to gaming. I'm horrible at gaming either way, even though I'm not new at it. I should be better, but I'm not. Let's take a look at what they have here. They're trying to do the Rasputin. She fell. And of course, the reason why this is muted is because uh, Twitch has that copyright thing where they mute it and Ra Ra Rasputin is absolutely a copywritten song. I've gotten hit by it before it you you have to mute it in order to not get hit by it. Uh, so that is, of course, with the with the dance, it's like the dance, dance one. And um, of course, that's that kind of dance is very hard to do. So I'm, I am proud of them for trying. So thank you so much for allowing me to showcase you on my channel. And I do hope this VTuber showcase does help you grow or at the very least helps you get more eyes on your content. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.